Hi, welcome to Nigel's Funny Rhymes YouTube video channel. Uh, I've got another funny rhyme for you. Uh, this one's from a series of poems called My Brother James and Me. And this one's called The Fall Guy. We're really for the high jump. That's my brother James and me. And all because we tried to do our bit for charity. Well, when I say our bit, I mean we volunteered our dad. He's a big kind-hearted softy, so we thought he might be glad. James saw it in the paper, this exciting looking ad, saying bungee jump for charity. That's when we thought of Dad. And with Father's Day approaching, Dad had said no need to fuss. So we sent the coupon off, for kids less fortunate than us. Dad wasn't very happy when his confirmation came. James explained the situation, it's for charity and fame. Dad tried to act all fearless, but he wasn't and we knew it. Those children need my help, he said. I suppose I'll have to do it. Well, on Father's Day we took him to the bungee jumping lake. Dad didn't say a word, but we could hear his kneecap shake. The crane looked flipping massive as we waited in the queue. Then he spoke and broke the silence. He said, quick, I need the loo. Well, he rushed off to the toilets at a pretty rapid pace. The queue was moving quickly, so we stayed and kept his place. Our dad was gone for ages, we were anxious and perplexed, and with no one now in front of us, the man in charge said, Next! So which of you is jumping? Is it you? He said, You're late. James answered, No, our dad is. He said, Right, I need his weight. Well, dad gets quite embarrassed, he weighs 15 stone or more. So we thought we'd save his blushes. James replied, He's 9 stone 4. He sent us to a lorry where they issued the elastic. That's when our dad rejoined us, he looked more enthusiastic. They laid him on a blanket and they strapped his ankles tight. Then they took him up the tower to the regulated height. We watched him through binoculars, he gave us both a wave. Then he jumped, a bit like Superman, James said, our dad is brave. When he fell towards the water at 100 miles an hour. But he didn't seem to ping just like they do back up the tower. He plunged into the water and he disappeared from sight. The elastic kept on stretching till it stopped and went all tight. The crowd were really anxious. Had our dad survived the thud? Someone yelled, he's on the bottom with his head stuck in the mud. We held our breath in silence. Dad was doing much the same. Then some blokes pulled on the bungee from above us on the crane. The leg strap started slipping, which was quite a bit of luck. Well, it should have been, but suddenly dad's head became unstuck. He flew up through the water like a rocket in reverse. The crowd began to cheer, but things were quickly getting worse. He catapulted skyward. You could feel the tension growing. Then he flew right out the leg straps and he sort of kept on going. They found him in the car park on the top of someone's car. The staff nurse told our dad that he'd been stretching things too far. There's a moral to this story, she continued. Listen, lads. You can lie about your weight, but never lie about your dad's. Thank you. Um, hopefully you'll find some other of my funny rhymes on YouTube. Uh, I'm putting some on fairly regularly now. There's already a few on there, so enjoy. Thanks for listening. Bye.